in our previous session we discussed about the rotating magnetic field how it is getting generated and all in two phase now let us think of three phase in three phase how rmf is getting produced okay three phase in the sense 120 degrees time displacement will be there in current so in space winding also 120 degrees space displacement should be there if i think of a here a dash here for example a reference is dot reference is cross okay dot in the sense i cannot see all the time dot current only will flow because it is sinusoidal current zero dot maximum zero cross maximum in that way currents will flow okay so my rmf sorry the axis of mmf is here the axis of mmf is here now 120 degrees let me think of b here let me think of b dash here okay in b also let me take dot cross as the reference so cross dot rmf is going to be sorry the axis of mmf is going to be fp and now c c dash c c dash if i came c is going to be dot a dot b dot c dot so cross so cross dot is going to be rmf is going to be sorry the axis of mmf is going to be c okay in this let me inject three phase time displaced currents basically these three windings are space displaced or not yes the axis of mmfs of the windings are displaced in space so it is going to be space displaced winding now through this space displaced winding let me inject three phase time displaced currents okay so ia 120 degrees ib 120 degrees I see. Okay. So this is going to be IA, this will be IB, this will be IC. Okay. So means in three phase, okay, at any instant IA plus IB plus IC will be zero. For example, when IA, IB is maximum, IC and IB, oh sorry, when IB is maximum, IA and IC will be half of the negative maximum. Or maybe whenever IC is maximum, IA and IB is going to be half of the negative maximum. When IA is positive maximum, IB and IC will be half of the negative maximum such that at any instant, at any instant, IA plus IB plus IC is going to be zero. Okay. Now, let us think of how RMF is getting produced. Let us see stator. Okay. Actually, after this session, I will introduce to time and space. Okay. So with time, how you are getting space? With space, how you are getting time? Okay. Basically, let me tell you one thing. Why we call synchronous machine as synchronous machine? okay alternator or uh, synchronous motor why that word synchronous many people many think that my machine rotated synchronous speed that's why we have to call that as synchronous speed a synchronous machine is wrong okay basically in synchronous machine time and space are synchronized so we should call it as synchronous machine okay so means time to space we have to go and space to time we have to go and time to space to time and space to time to space then we will understand like you know complete synchronous machine heart of synchronous machine or basic of synchronous machine okay now let us think of a here a dash here b here b dash here c here c dash here now this is dot 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 so this is going to be cross 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 okay it means my axis of mmf is going to be ia fa ib fb ic fc okay now if i inject like you know three phase time displaced currents in the sense 120 degrees time displaced current for example at one instant at one instant at a t1 okay at that instant for example let me think of ia equal to maximum at the same instant how much will be ib is going to be half of negative maximum how much will be means ic value ic value also is going to be half of 
negative maximum okay so at this instant how my resultant mmf in the uh, what do you say stator will exist so whenever i is positive maximum i is positive maximum so this is going to be resultant of f maximum okay now if you think of fb okay at the instant of ia maximum at the same instant b is going to carry half of negative maximum so if it is positive like this if it is negative it will become like this so positive maximum half of positive maximum half of negative maximum so this is going to be f max by 2 okay and c also if you think of at this instant how much is the ic value of current is going to be half of negative maximum so positive maximum half of positive maximum half of negative maximum this is also f max by 2 now let us calculate the resultant okay so means f maximum so fa to fc 120 degrees here to here 180 degrees opposite 180 degrees so here to here 120 here to here what do you say 180 so here to here the angle is 60 okay now let me divide this f max by 2 into two components horizontal component vertical component this also let me divide horizontal component vertical component okay so this vertical component and this vertical component will be compensated such that my resultant is going to be aligned with this this is going to be f resultant okay so what is f resultant is going to be this is going to be f max plus f max by 2 cos 60 plus f max by 2 cos 60 is going to be 2 f max by 2 cos 60 okay so this 2 2 get, will get cancelled okay this is going to be cos 60 is going to be half so 1.5 f max okay so my resultant mmf is in this direction because of like you know because of three time displaced currents flowing through three space displaced windings one resultant mmf came that resultant mmf is aligned with phase a because phase a current is maximum okay so because of three time displaced currents of ia ib ic my resultant is going to be one mmf resultant mmf is going to be one that resultant mmf f resultant is aligned with aligned with the axis in which currents are maximum okay so if my resultant is like this what is my like you know pole structure see this is going to be stator okay so my flux has to flow like this you are sitting in the air gap you are sitting in the air gap so this is going to be n because of this resultant this is yes because of this resultant okay now let me take one more instant for the same okay again this is stator a a dash dot cross b b dash dot cross c dot c dash cross okay now means like you know the axis of fa is here the axis of fb is here the axis of fc is here okay now it means at this instant at this instant it means another instant t2 at this instant let me think of ia is half of negative maximum ib is positive maximum ic is negative maximum by 2 okay means whenever ia is positive maximum ib and ic should be half of the negative maximum such that ia plus ib plus ic will be zero here also i whenever ib is positive maximum ia and ic will be half of the negative maximum but still actually btech students like you know may have a bit of difficulty let me tell you one thing here if i have star connection if i have star connection okay in three phase we say that this is ia and this is ic and this is ib okay all currents are entering only you know where is the return path is not required because whenever ia is positive maximum ib and ic will be half of the negative maximum such that <coughs> for this current these two will behave like a return pass 
For this current, these two will behave like a return bars. For this current, these two will behave like a return bars. At any instant, IA plus IB plus IC will be zero. Okay. Now coming to here, at this instant, what is happening? IA is going to be half of the negative maximum. So FA positive maximum, half of positive maximum, half of negative maximum. So this is going to be F max by two. Okay, and B, if you think of IB is going to be positive maximum. Okay, so IB is going to positive maximum. So this is going to be positive maximum. F max. Okay, IC is going to be half of the negative maximum, positive maximum, half, half of the negative maximum. Okay, now if you divide this into two components, horizontal component, vertical component. Horizontal component, vertical component. So these two will get compensated such that F max plus F max by 2 cos 60 plus F max by 2 cos 60 is going to be F resultant is going to be here. Okay. What is that F resultant value is same as 1.5 F max. Okay. Focus here properly dear. So resultant MMF is in this direction. Resultant MMF is in this direction. Resultant because of all three time displaced currents flowing through three space displaced windings, one resultant MMF will come. That resultant MMF is aligned with phase axis. Phase axis in which maximum currents flow. Okay. Now, is like you know, this is tatar. You are sitting in the air gap. Mind resultant flux should flow like this, means that it should be n pole of stator and it should be s pole of resultant. Resultant. Okay. Now, if you compare this and this, okay. So, from here to here, what is happening? My n pole, s pole here, okay, are rotated by 120 degrees here. 120 degrees here. Okay, so see here, N pole and S pole of here, okay, is rotated by 120 degrees here. Getting my point, right? So, N pole, S pole, my result in MMF is going to be rotated like this by 120 degrees. Now, let us think of time to space. Time to space. What is time to space? In time, because IA maximum to IB maximum, what is the angle in time? 120 degrees. Okay, so Yang, because I told you previously, if this is conductor, if I, what do you say, hold the conductor and sleep there, that is going to be time displaced. So currents will flow in this conductor. Okay, so those currents are going to be time displaced <coughs> because you are passing the time. So voltages and currents should be always time displaced. Okay, now in time, if you wait for 120 degrees in space, see here, this is space, in space, it is rotated by 120 degrees. Okay, so in time, if you wait for 120 degrees in space, my resultant MMF is rotated by 120 degrees. So this is time to space, time to space. Time to space okay